a reward at the end of the day because the Lord is so gracious, he give everybody a reward. <laughs> it says some people's reward might be life and some people might get what Sarah Connor got, you know? Yeah. But you get a reward. <laughs> uh, this is Isaiah what you got? 50 and 4. It says the Lord, Yahweh Shimao Shai, have given me the tongue of the learned. Yeah, we got the tongue of the learned, man. All right? That's which is the wisdom, understanding, and knowledge of these scriptures, man. That's the tongue of the learned. That's why the scripture says, uh, 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 speak as the oracles of Yahweh Shimao Shai, man. That's what we're supposed to do, man. Speak as the oracles of the Heavenly Father, all right, to his beloved son, man. That I should know how to speak a word and season to him that is weary. Yeah, to, that's to you, you, you jakes, man. You two thirds, man. We should know how to speak this word, man. To you that are, are weary, man. Y'all weary. Y'all on the brink of fucking death, man. And all that's why these people on the side, hey, and, and right along with the so-called white man, all the other heathen nations, they on the brink of fucking death, man. And don't even know it. Shit, uh, It says, okay. he waking this morning by morning, he waking up my ear to hear as the learn. Yeah, the most high, man. He waking up our ear, man. He the one who gave us this understanding, man. All right? He the one who brought us back to the to the wisdom, understanding, and knowledge of the Bible. He the one who brought us back to our true heritage, man. All right? He the one who brought us back to him, man. You know? This first Peter 4 and 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh. And that's what we doing, man. Even though these people don't like what we saying, oh well, man. We speaking as the oracles. We're the voice of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yahushah. We're his voice, man. The Lord don't talk, he don't, he don't well, speak out of the sky. All right, and, and say like he did with, uh, uh, Moses. No, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, go further back than that like he did Cain, man. When he said, oh, we're, we're our thought brother, man. Yeah. You know, and Cain told him he don't know. The Lord don't speak to a man like that no more because what? In Genesis, the fifth chapter, he said that he's not going to always strive with men, man. Because right. the thoughts that we always, we always think it wickedly in this right. place, man. So the Lord not going to always be, you know, like in, a, in an ancient time, he'll, you know, he'll speak to you out of nowhere. Like I believe it was Samuel. Because Samuel, he was, uh, his mother uh, basically offered him to Yahweh Simeon Shai. He was a man, he was, he was offered when he was born. And Samuel was a, 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 a count with Samuel. He was in there and, and he, he heard a voice and he kept getting up going yeah. to, uh, I yeah. forget who it was, he was like, did you call me? And he was like, no, I ain't call you, man. Was Go it back. Saul? It had to be a Saul, was it? No, it wasn't. Was it wasn't Saul. I know no, it wasn't Saul. Samuel, but he was like, yeah, I ain't call you, man. Go back and lay down. He, <laughs> he heard the voice again. That was the Lord speaking to him. He got up, came back. He like, no, go back, lay down. He said, if you hear that again, then you know that's the Lord, the Most High, man. Y'all about to see me out with shot, you know? Get that uh, 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 It's an Eli. Amos 3. Did it? Yeah, yes it is. It says, Samuel yeah, rose and went to Eli. Man. He went to Eli and said, here am I, for thou didn't. Yes. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it. Uh, so like, yeah, I know, I said that first. So like, I'm going to get this though. This, this the account. This first Samuel 3 and 4. And Yahweh called Samuel and he answered him, yeah. here am I. Yahweh called Samuel, man. Meaning the heavenly father, he called his ass, man. While he was awoke, he basically said, hey, Samuel. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, he used to do it. I Samuel, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, hey, Sam, the Sam, you thought he was tripping. Yeah. Hey, nigga. Oh, now, he shit. Said, Who did it? He said, he said, yeah, he said, here am I. And he ran unto Eli and said, here am I, for thou callest me. Yeah, he ran into Eli. He ran yeah. into, uh, he, 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 he ran into his, that was his master or something. Like, he, he was a servant or something like that yeah. to him. Yeah, he was above him. You know, but he ran into Eli and like, yeah, here I am, man. What, you need me? It's what good. Me on? Yeah. <laughs> and it says, and he said, I called not. Lie down again. <laughs> yeah. And he, and he went and lay down. Like, yeah, like, so he <laughs> told Sam, he like, no, man, I ain't call you, man. You, you <laughs> might be, you know, you might be here or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it says, and Yahweh called yet again Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli. Yeah. And said, hear him I, for thou didst call me. <laughs> yeah, Eli, he, he knew he wasn't tripping, man. <laughs> he read, the, uh, I mean, Samuel, he knew he wasn't tripping. He ran to Eli like, man, I know you just called me, man. He, he just called me. Get the hell. Go ahead. And it says, and he answered, I called not my son, lie down again. Uh -huh. Now Samuel did not yet know Yahweh. He didn't know the Lord, man. He uh -huh. didn't know the heavenly father, Yahweh Shemal was shot, man. He was basically inquiring of him, man. God. Neither was the word of Yahweh yet revealed unto him. He didn't even know the word yet, man. Yeah. It says, and Yahweh called Samuel again the third time, yep. and he arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. Mm -hmm. And Eli proceeded. He did it three times. Yeah, I'll buy some outside, called unto Samuel three times, three and time. he, he didn't perceive it, man. I ain't like that in Job, the 33rd chapter, where the most I speak it once and twice, yeah. and he didn't perceive it not. Yeah, you know, he didn't, he didn't understand. He was yeah. like, 
you know, mm -hmm. go ahead. It says that Eli perceived that Yahweh had yeah, called him. That's the word. Matter of yeah. fact, get that. Uh, uh, Job 33 and 15. Right right yeah, here. read it right quick. This is Job chapter 33, verse 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, yeah. when deep sleep falleth upon man and slumbering upon the bed. Then he opened his ears of man and still him. This is Job chapter 33, verse 14. For your house speak of once, yep. yeah, twice. Yep. Yet man perceive it not. Yeah, Samuel, he didn't perceive it, man. He didn't perceive it when the Heavenly Father was speaking to him those three times. He couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't comprehend what was going on, man. He didn't even know the Lord. You know? <laughs> go ahead. That's good. I, that's good. Good. Mm -hmm. it said, he said, uh, just to get that back, back up. It didn't say, I'm gonna finish up the last verse of eight. Mm -hmm. It says, and Eli perceived that Yahweh had called the child. Mm -hmm. Therefore, oh he, yeah, Eli understood. Yeah. Cause Eli like, oh okay, let me. Oh okay, that's the Lord calling him, yeah. man. You know. Therefore, Eli said unto Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be if he called thee that thou shalt say, Speak to Yahweh, for thy servant hear it. Yeah. So Eli told him that those three times. The third time he told him like, Go lay down again. If you hear him call you, then you that's the Lord. Y'all bash him y'all shot. And you right. answer him. Right. You acknowledge him. You know what I'm saying? As here I am, y'all bash him y'all shot. Speak. Right. You know, that's the spirit because his mother was teaching him in first Samuel 2 and 5. That's like a favorite of mine. She said that uh by him actions are way for You know what I'm saying? Like you said, uh Samuel was he was born up as an offering basically until you how about shit me out of shot. Yeah. And, and he was a servant of to him. You know what I'm saying? And and that was the spirit because she was kind of like teaching him like guidelines as he was young, as a youngin, like like by my actions, you know what I'm saying? Your actions are way basically. It's blurry still, fucking up. It's cool. Keep going, you good. It's all good. I mean, it, it's still showing, but it's it's just yeah. blurry as fuck. It's all good. Because this thing on. Um, I'm gonna finish up though, yeah, right quick. I had First Peter right? four and eleven. Yeah. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh. If oh. any man minister, let him do it. As of the ability which Yahweh giveth, that Yahweh in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So, you know, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, for those who don't know, Yahweh Shah being the Son, people ignorantly call uh, uh, God and Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? We we're just acknowledging him in his name, but he said, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles, meaning you got to be able to back it with a scripture. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to reprove somebody, be able to have about three or four precepts on standby to be able to back their statement up. You know what I'm saying? Because you got people out here that just speaking out their ass. Like, I got to use this reference. Zabak said the RFID chip or the Mark of the Beast was John 316, man. <laughs> Shit that don't make sense at all, but you got people out here pushing that. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be... You know what I'm saying? Basically, apt to teach. You gotta be weaned up from the milk. And this don't come overnight. Not to say that we got a lot of light, cause I'm still learning my damn self, as well as many of these brothers up here. You know what I'm saying? By way of apostles and elders, a great millstone. You know that Yahweh Bashimi Asha set up those apostles out in New York, you know what I'm saying? To be rulers over us, leaders over us. You know what I'm saying? Great men. Uh, uh, we all learn, you know, through them. You know what I'm saying? They're bringing out them deep, dark sayings and parables and stuff like that. But they speaking as the oracles of the Most High, because everything they back up, it, it be deep. But everything they back up is with the scripture, man. And they go into the history too. That's what, that's one of my weak points, secular history. Where brother, you know what I'm saying? We gotta, uh, you know, get uh, get on the study party so we can like be more thorough in that. But that's one of the things that they bring out too. You know, as far as speaking as the oracles of the Most High. You know? yeah, so uh, they said that in anything, you know what I'm saying? You gotta acknowledge him. That he may be glorified too. You know? But uh y'all got it yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead then. I, this is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 14. They have blown the trumpet, mm -hmm. even to make already. Yeah. But the noise going to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. So that's what we're doing up here. We're blowing a trumpet to get these people ready. Like the scriptures say, man, give them warning from me. That's what we're doing. We're blowing a trumpet. To get the nation of Israel ready for what's about to take place, but no man get no man make it ready, man. No man go up to the battle, man. They ain't taking heed to what we saying. They think we some stupid ass niggas or something. Matthew 22. Yeah, they think we some stupid niggas. We don't know what the fuck we talking about, man. They think that we breaking the scripture down how we want to break it down, man. They think we leaning on our own understanding. They think we going off our own interpretation, man. But that ain't true, man. Hey, Pastor Burning was uh was to get on TV and say, I, I need all all y'all to bring y'all guns, y'all weapons. The world is gonna end tomorrow. You have a long line outside the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh matter of fact. Get that. So rock 13 and uh 23, right quick. It's Amos three and six. 
shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the most high have not done it? Yeah, man, so like the brother was saying, we blowing the trumpet, man. All right, let y'all know that the most high is about to do evil. Yup. So like, you're about to do evil in the city, man. Yep. I about to get, man, it's about to get real fucked up out here, man. All right, so you niggas that's out here worried about uh, uh, rude speech, so-called curse words, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man, you're going to have a hell of a lot more to worry about in that day other than somebody talking rude. You're going to have to, mm -hmm. hey, niggas going to be wanting your head, man. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Killing you over everything, man. Can I, mm -hmm. can I land back off you right quick? These people are not as stupid as they claim to be because they know that the world is at, at, at I mean, World War III is at stake, like yeah. the scriptures say, but they don't know the scriptures. Just saying, they, you know, they make memes on social media like the uh, Michael Jordan crime face and shit like that. They're like, if this, this was America's last day uh, or, or the world's last day, you know what I'm saying? They put a Michael Jordan face on the earth, you know what I'm saying, with a big meteor coming at it. But we know it's gonna go out by thermonuclear fire. Right. Just throwing it out there that people, they know that the end is at hand, but they, they, they make themselves not ready to the battle, meaning they don't wanna stop living in pleasure for a little season. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Humble themselves up. Oh, that's Second Chronicles 7 and 14. I got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is Colossians chapter 1, verse 25. Wherever I may be minister according to the dispensation. Dispensation of Yahweh, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of Yahweh. Yeah, so we made ministers, man, by the dispensation, meaning the most high, he dispensed the spirit unto us, man, to come out here and push this word, man. Right. All right, for who, man? Like it said to you, the you is the two thirds of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel, period, man. That's the you, man. Keep going out. Even the mystery which have been here from ages yeah, and generations. Yeah, the mystery which have been here from, for ages, man, because the Bible, people didn't understand the Bible. It was a time that even the apostles and elders of GMS didn't understand the Bible because the mysteries of this Bible was hidden, man, for ages, man. Go ahead. Even the mystery which have been here for ages and generations, but it's now made manifest to his saints. It's now made manifest to his saints, man. It's basically coming into fruition to his saints. First and foremost, the saints of the nation of Israel, man. But at this particular point in time, the Lord is only dealing with one third of the nation of Israel, man. All right? They're the saints, man. So the, uh, what's that? Psalm chapter 50 and 5. Somebody get that real quick, man. Why do you get it? Can I get it? Yeah. This is uh, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So that was a part of, you know what I'm saying, them humbling themselves up, you know, before you have my own shut up. The Psalms chapter 50, verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Yeah, the saints. That's who the most I'm talking about, man. But it's going to be, this is a specific verse on who we at, which, which one of the saints uh, he talking to, man. Yo. Gather my saints together unto me, uh -huh. those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. By sacrifice. So he talking to the saints of the nation of Israel that made a covenant with him by sacrifice, which is the men of the Lord, man, and the one third, man, mainly the men of the Lord, mainly the 144,000 uh, 144, prophets. So we made a covenant with him by sacrifice. We sacrificed all that we had, you know? We sacrificed what? Our family? Matter of fact, get that, man. Matthews, or you, you 19 and 28. Yeah, if I could just ask something real right quick, yeah. uh, uh, present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Yeah, right? yeah. This is a sacrifice out here, man. Yeah. Because when, when we come out here, man, I heard about this is what we do.